My god, I do not want to mess up this date. Would she like me? She's looking at me. But now she's looking down. How do you know if a girl likes you? Yo bro, this is Louis aka the Tinder God. Have you ever been on a Tinder date where you're wondering, hmm, does she actually like me? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you all the signs to know whether she likes you or not, and we're gonna add a deeper layer to them so you really understand why she's doing them. Sign number one is the nightclub move. You'll often see girls in nightclubs dancing with their hands above their head. Not a very manly thing to do. So when a girl does this, this is one of the signs that she likes you. Why does she do it? Well, first of all, it's a very feminine move, but the deeper layer is that there's a lot of pheromones being released from her armpit, and these would help her seduce you so subconsciously she's spreading pheromones through her armpit to fly to you and seduce you second sign is a tip from 50 shades of gray if you ever come across this book just pick it up and go through it you will see that there's an overdose of lip biting in every scene either Anastasia or Mr. Gray will be biting their lip this is a sign of arousal if you see your tinder date biting her lip you're probably doing very well the third sign is the spine or the S spine. So I want you to think of a man who sees a woman he finds really attractive. What's he gonna do with his body language? Well, he will most likely try to enhance his masculinity. How does he do this? He brings out his chest, he's standing up nice and firm in a straight line, trying to take up as much space as possible like this. So what does a woman do? She's obviously not gonna do any of this because she wants to be more feminine. She's gonna do the spine. She creates an S in her body to pop out her glutes. And she's gonna also pop out her breasticles like this with a nice hollow back to have these nice curves. Sign number four, a test to see if she likes you. In psychology, there's a concept we call mirror neurons. Mirror neurons, what are those about? Well, very long story, very short. If someone likes you, they will be likely to copy, to copy your linguistic pattern, your facial expressions, your posture, your behavior, all that good stuff. For example, you're on a date and you're leaning back. You notice that she's leaning back as well. Then if you change your posture or the way you're sitting, for example, I'll go and sit like this, leaning in, and I'll notice that minutes later, she's copied my posture, then this is a pretty clear sign that she's mirroring my behavior, aka she likes me. Sign number five is laughing. Now, obviously, if you crack a joke and people are laughing, that's kind of normal. Uh, hey, how does a dog say hi in Japanese? Konnichiwa! <laughs> But if you start to notice that she's laughing at almost everything you're saying, even small, non-funny stuff, then that's a pretty clear sign that she likes you. Number six, more pheromones. Now, this is a classic one that you might have heard before when a girl is playing with her hair. Yeah, she's trying to be beautiful for you. She's trying to make her hair extra voluminous and all that stuff. This is definitely true, but there's actually a deeper layer. Just like the armpit, this area here around the neck releases a lot of pheromones. Her hair is hanging in these pheromones and she's trying to swoosh them pheromones right in your face to make you like her. Quick bonus dating tip. When you're going on a first date, actually try to sit next to your date so it feels like you're on the same team it's not so much pressure on all the time and you can do one of my favorite things ever is watching people together look at the guy with the cute dog Tip number seven is the way she breaks eye contact. There's actually a massive difference between two ways of breaking eye contact. There can be one where she's looking down more bored, thinking about ways to escape the date, and there's one where you're positively intimidating her, maybe she's feeling a little bit submissive and she's looking down in a very cutesy way. Sign number eight, the secret power of candlelit dinners. Of course, you know, candlelit dinners are romantic, but do you know the psychology behind this? People find white pupils attractive. Why is this? Because if someone has white pupils, it means that they're attracted to you. They literally open their eyes more to absorb or to see more of you. Now, when you go on a candlelit dinner, there's not a lot of light. If there's not a lot of light, your pupils have to go as wide as possible to still see the environment and the other person. So there's candlelit dinners, there's not a lot of light, your pupils go wide, the other person sees your white pupils, they think, wow, he or she likes me, and in turn, you will like them as well. 
now you know. Sign number nine, what her legs will tell you. There's multiple things her legs can tell you, but one that is pretty clear is when she's crossing her legs, kind of like this. I can tell you two things about this. One, if her legs are crossed and you're talking to her, she can't really run away. This is never the position you will start running from or she will fall flat on her beautiful face. Secondly, if a woman is having her legs crossed, it enhances her hourglass figure. And this is of course what us men find super attractive. So subconsciously, she's trying to look her best for you. Oh bro, my date has come to an end, but there's plenty of more signs to find out whether she likes you or not. You can find them in my Tinder date guide, the complete guide to, cre to create an awesome Tinder date. It's linked down below the video, check it out, it's free. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.